All right, recording. Okay. Welcome to Summit Week. I'm so excited and I'm so giddy and I feel like I shouldn't be this excited. Like people probably think I'm crazy, but I really am just so excited. They're probably like, this girl is a freak. Why is she so excited about social media? People that she meets on social media, but this business is just so cool. And it's so exciting to know that we've built a relationship for so long and we finally get to meet one another. That's kind of why it is so cool to me. Like it makes it so, it makes me just like, so anxious and ready. I think if we got to see one another all the time, this business wouldn't be as special. Um, so that's basically my announcement for the week. It's Summit Week. Um, we have the Team Thrive call at 8. But I also want to remind you guys, because a lot of you are new, I want to remind you all that Caitlin and I earned this trip for free. Caitlin, you earned this for free, right? Yeah, so we earned this trip for free. And you can do that too for next year. So all you have to do is the first three full months of your business you have to help three people. That is it. You have to sign up three. It can be a coach or a client. You just have to hit success club six and three people is so easy. If you're not able to help three people a month then you're, you're just not, you're not doing your job. You're not going to make any money and that's harsh, but you're going to get rewarded and three people is so little. And so for you to be you should be connecting with so many more people than three a month. So that is so doable. Just in my opinion, um, Honestly, even if you sign up, your your husband, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, that person counts for that first month too. So it's just people like that. You've just got to have three the first three months and you're going to get this ticket. Everyone else is paying like $300 for this and you're not. That is special about being a new coach. So we're being sent to Indianapolis. Of course, we're paying to get there. Caitlin's paying for gas. I'm paying for a flight, but we're not paying to get into the door. So that is super fun. And this is honestly the event of the year. Okay, let me pull up my notes. So what we're going to be talking about today is what it means to have a success partner. And I don't guess we've ever really used this word with y'all, but Caitlin is my success partner. I'm her success partner. And basically what it is, it's just someone who is in Beachbody and they are in in the same level of the business of you. You're, you're going to kind of grow at the same rate. Someone who is pushing for the same rank as you, someone who is, you know, just new like you, who are doing the same things as you, someone who has the same goals. Do you want to go full time with this? We both want to go full time. If you're a success, if you're successful partners with someone who just wants to do this part time and you're hoping to do this full time, then that's not going to mesh well. You're not going to have the same work ethic in the business. And then it also just needs to be someone that you like. Like, it's someone that you talk to every single day. It needs to be somebody that you jive with, somebody that you love talking to, not somebody who, when they message you, you're going to be like, oh, shit, she messaged me again. Because that's going to be a complete issue because you use one another for everything in this business. We talk, we stayed up until 1 a.m. talking last night about this business and how to push forward and, you know, just how excited we are about this trip that we earned and we finally get to be together. So, um, it just needs to be somebody that you really relate to. Um, and I'm just going to answer, basically, this is going to be super short. I have no slides. Um, but I'm just going to answer the question as to how a success club, a success partner helps you and why they fuel your business. So um, the first thing that Caitlin and I do for one another is we ask one another questions. So of course there's Google, of course there's your upline, of course you can ask us questions, but of course we can ask Danae questions, but there's times that we really just don't need to reach out to Danae. And there's times that we really just don't need to aggravate the shit out of Danae when we're asking little things like, what should I post? Which picture should I post? Like, or um, what should I say to this girl who's asking this question? I don't need to reach out to Danae every single time. I don't know how to word something or every single time I'm stumped by someone's question. She's not going to have time to answer me. She's growing her business and I completely understand that she's still in a growing period just as we are. So she doesn't have time to just invest in her coaches kind of like Mandy does. Mandy is at the top of the top. So she's got more time to train coaches. Whereas people below Mandy are still growing. So they're still getting new blood on their team and things like that. So she just cannot have the time of the day to answer everything that we have to ask. Um, also, we help each other get through the nose and the hard days. So they are not always rainbows and unicorns and butterflies in this business. And we um, are working a very personal business and 
health and fitness is very personal. And as is we using social media, we have to, you know, build relationships every single day. And some people just don't love whenever a stranger tries to talk to them. So there's going to be times that people are not as nice as you would think they would be. There's going to be times that people relate or people think that you're someone with it works and they're going to be mean to you. And there's going to be times that people are going to be like, I fucking hate Beachbody. Would you please leave me alone? I've already done it. I don't like it. No. So you really need that person who you're going to be able to go to and you're going to be able to be able to say what happened and they're going to be able to talk to you through it. Like, they're just going to be able to tell you, yes, that's happened to me too. You're just going to have to let that roll off your back. Just unfollow her, block her, whatever. Like you just need that person. And someone in your family is not going to always want to listen to you complain about things like that. So you're just going to need someone who's working this business who can truly relate to you with those issues. They're also going to help you stay true to yourself and, um, that's something that we are trying really hard to do on social media. So in the beginning, as a coach, it's so hard to get on there and be yourself. You feel like you're getting on there and you're being yourself and you're being genuine and you're just being you, but you're really not like you're, you're super tense. You're super awkward and it's just really hard to break that mold. So really whenever Caitlin and I started transforming our Instagrams is when we started sending our captions to one another, brainstorming together, um, really like sending one another pictures and figuring out how to pose together and like things like that. So that's when we started learning how to be ourselves on Instagram. When we really started asking each other, what should we be talking about? Like, wh how do, how are we going to find our tribe? Who are we? So we kind of like brainstormed with one another and asked like, what are our values? What are we wanting people to get out of our Instagram page? What, who are we wanting to connect with and how are we going to do that? So literally we send one another our captions every single day just to make sure that we don't sound salesy, to make sure we sound like ourselves, just to make sure that that is something that is going to benefit us. Um, and it's also so we don't have typos, like we don't want to sound stupid. So um, we send that to one another every single day and maybe sometimes we'll just be like, you know, maybe you should change the wording just a little bit or Hey, that sounds a little salesy. Why don't you put it like this? That way people don't feel like you're like pushing a product at them. So that's why it's super beneficial. Um, once again, like, yeah, we just, we grow together. Um, and it's also basically, I don't know if we lucked up or what, but it's just a best friend to find throughout this business. Like we are truly the exact same person, but she's a northerner and I'm a southerner. She has a northern accent and I have a southern accent and she's like five two and I'm not totally not five two but five three excuse me <laughs> but we have the same values we have the same personality and we really just job together and it's honestly just another best friend to have. A lot of people um, start to lose relationships whenever they get a little bit older and get out of college and get out of high school. Everybody kind of goes their separate ways. And this is truly someone that you get to talk to every single day. And you just really need to dive into that and just accept that. I don't, I truly don't know if we lucked up. Like I, I'm not sure if other people's success partners are like this, but we talk about everything. We talk about our fate. We talk about our boyfriends. Um, I mean, we talk about friendships that have not gone well, the stresses of college, everything that happens in our life, we truly talk about it. And that's just super helpful to know that we have that level of trust and just that level of closeness, even though we've never even met one another. It's, it's a really weird thing to happen, but that's truly what you're looking for is someone who is a best friend to you, but is also going to push you in this business, just like a normal best friend will push you in life. But this person's just going to push you in your business. And also the last little thing that I could even come up with of why it is so helpful to have and so much fun to have a success partner is you get to go on these trips that you earn together. Like, we have been looking forward to this since we started. Um, I think the reason that Caitlin and I actually became success partners, we didn't even say like, Hey, will you be my success partner? Some people do that. But like I messaged her, I think and was like, are you going to summit and who's staying with you? Because I need somebody to stay with. I, I didn't know anybody and she was on my team and I messaged Janae and I was like, who was like me that I would like to stay with? And she was like, reach out to Caitlin. So 
that was perfect. And we basically just started talking ever since then. Um, we talked on Instagram and then we were like, damn, I'm tired to talk on Instagram. Like, can I just have your number? So, um, we're looking forward to finally getting to go to Indianapolis together to meet one another, to get to take all the cute pictures together, go to cocktail parties together. It's so nice to know that you're not going to an event and that you don't know anyone at. It's so nice to go because this is the first time we've ever done this, the first time we've ever been on a Beachbody event. So we're finally like, we're, we're kind of comforted in knowing that we're going to have one another, even though we're on a team of 700 people and we haven't met one another before. We've also earned a success club trip together to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Even though there's chaos going on there, we're not sure what's happening. We earned that freaking trip and we're looking forward to it somehow. We're going to make it, whether it's in Punta Cana, whether it doesn't exist, we earned that trip together and we're somehow going to get to have a trip together. I'm not sure what's happening with all the deaths. I'm hoping and praying it's going to be fixed by March. That sounds so selfish, but it truly is something that we have just looked forward to and it just keeps us going and it just makes us so much more excited and ecstatic to work this business because it's so easy to feel alone in this business. You're working at home by yourself on through social media and you're physically not having human contact. So it's so nice to have those little incentives of I get to go spend a whole week with Caitlin in another country and I've never been there and we're going to be, you know, in this first class resort and we're going to have jacuzzis in our room. We're going to get, you know, room service, all this stuff. It's going to be so fun. And that's just something that really just pushes you forward rather than just having your why, having that person. It's honestly like having a boyfriend. It's like, oh my God, I'm finally going to see her. Like, you know how when you're, you haven't seen your significant other in a while and you're like, God, I cannot wait to see them. You earn that trip and you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to go on that trip with Caitlin. I'm so excited. And that's just the feeling that you want in this business. But honestly, they just make this business so much more fun. So um, honestly, you just need to reach out and we can create a thread in our group and we want kind of, you can comment under it and you can say where you're from, your age, what your goals are in this business. And from that, you can kind of figure out if there's anyone that you can be a success success partner with um we'll post that that's kind of what mandy has done in team thrive before that's not how we found one another but again like we can do that to help y'all out or suggest someone to you that seems like you're gonna um work well together and it doesn't matter if you're on my team or if you're on caitlin's team you guys can be partners together as long as you have the same goals and you feel like you're gonna like one another um but truly that's all I have. It's super short um, because success partners are just super simple. Um, just find that person that you job with and start using them as a resource and becoming friends with them and just building a relationship. But that's totally all I have. Um, if you're not making it to summit, I'm so sorry. I wish you could. If you still have any freaking way to make it, they sell tickets at the door, book a flight, drive your car, whatever you can do. I know there's people who probably have a room available. You can probably sleep on a cot, but it is going to be so much fun. You're going to have FOMO. And honestly, I've never been there, but I have FOMO from their pictures that they posted. Um, it is being hyped up like crazy and I cannot wait to see what it's going to be like and share it with y'all. If you're not going to be there, Caitlin and I are going to share it with y'all and come back and talk about it, share pictures with y'all and also just let y'all know everything that we learn to help push your business forward as well. So that's all I have. I hope y'all have a great week. Um, I hope we're going to get to talk to y'all some. I know we're going to be crazy busy this weekend. So forgive us if we do not get back to y'all in a timely manner. But thanks for catching the call. I'm going to stop the recording now.